Let's see if we have any melting. <gasps> we have melting. So here's what I want to know. If I want to melt this bottle on top of a piece of pottery, and I don't want it to absolutely liquefy like we've seen in previous videos where I'll fire it at cone 5, uh, what is the right temperature? So to test this, I'm going to put this in the kiln. We're going to start at cone 022, and we're going to work our way up until it gives me the effect that I'm looking for. So let's get these in the kiln and find out what happens. I see no melting. I'm going to quickly close this up. And we're going to run in 021. No melting. No melting on the marbles. Okay, it's fired again. No signs of melting yet. Let's do it again. Let's see if we have any melting. <gasps> we have melting. Let's take a closer look. Let's make a note here. It's still a thousand degrees in there. It's a thousand sixty-one. Uh, I could feel the heat when I opened it. I thought it was a bit lower. For some reason, I thought it was 219 degrees. No, that's not true. So, I'm going to cool, let this cool down just a little bit. We're going to come back. We're going to take a look. But, cone 19, the first signs of melting. Still looks round, so I don't think the marbles have melted. But obviously, the bottle has. Let's see if it comes off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I decided to go get another bottle, and let's just keep going. Uh, if it doesn't come off, that's fine, but this will be the 019. Uh, I'll put another bottle in here. We're going to fire it at 018 and keep going. I was kind of suspicious that, kind of expecting that 016 was going to be where we were going to have some real action, but let's do that. Let's see what we got. Oh, interesting. Okay, well. One of the things about um, slumping the glass or not melting it as thin as I have in the past was I was hoping that I wouldn't get the kind of shattering that happens when it cools later. And the previous firing didn't show any evidence of that, but that is interesting. Okay, so here is the new victim. Same oil spot pattern. I do think this time though I'm going to I'm going to fire it this way. Let's see what we got. I'm actually surprised it hung on. Let me get this out here. Well, interesting. More melted than the last one, but not by much. Um, way back in the day, I was doing these extrusion kind of... They were intended to like stick in a pot and hold another little plant or something I don't know but I have had this laying around so I'm going to set this in here and then I'm going to put the bottle inside we're going to fire this at Kono 16 and we'll see if I can keep it in the basket uh, I'm kind of tempted to keep firing it because I want to know can I get it to goo out of the holes but uh, let's get this in 016 we'll fire it and we'll keep on going oh wow well, that is pretty fun. I mean, we still have the kind of cracky thing going on. It's starting to get pretty goopy. But it didn't break away. I mean, the, obviously the whole bottle kind of hung together still. So, Kono 16 looks like it's a good starting point. It did not go through the basket. Kind of hoping it would. Okay, here's the next victim. This will be a cone 015 firing. Let's 
see what we got. Ooh. Ooh, nice and melty. Get this out of here. That is actually pretty darn good. It's so shiny, it was almost hard to tell if it had fully webbed away, but it did not. I'm telling you, I kind of like that. It looks like our marbles. The marbles finally flattened out. That is what I wanted to see right there. And I already have some ideas. You'll see why I'm looking for something like this. But that is good. So cone 015 really looks like it did a job. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Be sure to subscribe. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to be using marbles in a different way. And hopefully that should be fun. So thanks again.